We have an Ask Ellen for this week, and viewer Mark asks Storm Teammates Chief Meteorologist Alan Baca, when the sun produces a coronal mass ejection, how long does it take to reach the Earth? We've been getting a lot of interest lately in some space weather things, especially because we've had such phenomenal northern light shows this particular year. And that's because we're in an active pattern in terms of sunspot activity. But what's the difference between a sunspot and a geomagnetic storm and a coronal mass ejection? We're going to break that down for you in this Ask Ellen segment. So let's just start by looking at the sun, especially with the surface of the sun blocked out. This is actually during an eclipse. Notice what's streaming off of the sun. We have all these particles and energy constantly pushing out into space. And so when we see different types of things getting kicked out into space, it's labeled something different. So for example, a solar flare is a burst of light and X-ray energy. And this is just defined as that burst of light. It reaches Earth in about eight minutes, so not long. Scientists will see solar flares by seeing a bright flash on the surface of the sun. Now, to contrast, a coronal mass ejection is what gets kicked off of the sun's surface. It's basically an eruption into space of a giant cloud of particles, and that reaches Earth in about one to three days, according, according to NASA. So this, the coronal mass ejection, is what slams into Earth and can create the northern lights. So this is how it looks. If we look at the surface of the sun, and oftentimes the solar flare will happen with the coronal mass ejection, but the flare is noticed in eight minutes. Meanwhile, the coronal mass ejection, again, takes about one to three days.